Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be talking about textiles. Now, textiles are a great way to reuse your styles that you've created for your text across your document and your canvas, your project, whatever. Basically, uh, it you no longer have to reset your type, uh, reset your typeface, your size, your everything. Uh, you can just save that as a textile, sort of like uh, almost like CSS or something like that, and then apply it to as much or as little text in your project as you'd like. So to get started, I'm going to first create some new text uh, with the text tool here, and I'm just going to click, and obviously I'm going to type something because that is required. Um, so we're going to say, hello. Now, this is white for some reason, so I'm going to go ahead and select the color over here to be black. And we now have our hello. And you'll notice this is Roboto, uh, regular. Let's actually set this to a uh, light italic like that. And we have the size. Let's say it's going to be 144, just so we have a specific number that we can go ahead and and jump to. So now you'll see here uh, in the right information in our inspector over here, it says no textile. If we click that, we can say create new text style. So we'll just call this heading one. And now we have our heading one textile that's uh, italicized light Roboto. So now we can create some more text and we can say um, this is gonna say yo yo I guess it should say yo whatever either way you'll notice how it's white it's Roboto regular you can't even see it let's make this gray at least so you can see it so now we have this text and we want it to match this textile all we have to do is select in this drop down heading one now you'll notice that it has the typeface, it has the weight, it gets the color, and it gets the size. Uh, so that's great. What else can it get if we go ahead and let's select hello again? Maybe let's give this maybe let's give this some character spacing here. We can kern out the whole thing right here uh, just by let's put it to like five. Now what you'll notice is that our heading one up top here is updating live while we're updating this. So if I click out of here and then click back over to yo, 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 you'll see that it's also received this five uh, in the character spacing here and five here, five here, and it did it automatically. Likewise, if you wanna see a more obvious example, let's actually click on the yo, yo, and we'll edit this to say 10 and you would have noticed that the hello is also changing. So how do we get these things off of a type style? Well, if we select this yo-yo, we want it to actually to maintain this type. Uh, we want it to maintain the typeface, the line spacing, or whatever, but we don't want this to be heading one. Well, you could always create a new text style uh, with whatever changes you're going to be making are, or you can click no textile at all. Now that this is selected to no textile, if we select yo-yo and set the spacing to be zero once again, let's say the color to be red, you'll notice hello doesn't change at all. But any new text that we make with our heading one will still be the same as hello. Now also in this menu here, we have the option to manage text styles. So let's select that, and you'll see that we have heading one, and that's it. From here, we can click it and rename it uh, by double-clicking it, or we can hit subtract to remove it. Uh, other things we have in here are group symbols and layer styles, but we're going to talk about those later. So we now have created text styles, and let's actually go ahead and change the, the font size on this one, and this can be... Uh, create new textile, it can be uh, sub, it's just gonna be like a subhead or something like that. Okay, 
So we've created, we've deleted, we've made new, and we've edited a type style. So you noticed that when we edited the type style, we didn't have to do anything for to update and save. When you're modifying a, a text style here, it's going to make that modification to the text style the moment that you're actually changing your text. So awesome, we now have made two text styles and you can see how powerful they can be. So what's really great is if you're building a website, you're building an app or whatever, you set up your type styles once at the beginning, maybe you make a kitchen sink or, or something like that, what you're used to with web development, and then you reuse those throughout your document and it's a snap if you wanna change anything. You wanna see your entire project in different typefaces, you can easily do that, or maybe you just wanna see the heading and all of the headings in different typefaces or things like that. So that's awesome. So embrace textiles and set them up for your project and you'll be happy you did because it's gonna make managing your text styles way easier. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video, hit us up at Twitter or Facebook on Level Up Tuts. We love to hear from you. And let us know in the comments what your favorite part about using text styles are. I'm sure all of our viewers would love to see and hear about how you are using text styles in your projects. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.